what's happening everyone welcome back to Bulk's Backyard Gym today we're going to be doing our push session and it's going to be a little bit different when I say different I mean I'm going to literally talk about the reason why I'm training for the way I'm training throughout the exercises and why it's beneficial to do it that way okay so yeah we're going to get straight into it it's little speckles of snow so hopefully it doesn't come down too badly don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button at the end of this video and not only that visit Raycon 1 for your supplements and visit Tough Wraps for your supports in every need whether it's elbow knee sleeves or lifting straps wrist supports figure 8 straps okay they've got it all bulk out Okay guys, so we're about to warm up on our chest for our first exercise, which is flat press. Now a lot of people keep asking me what's the point in warming up, and the reason being is simple. To warm up our muscle group, get the blood flowing, because if we don't, we're, we're at more risk of injuring ourselves potentially, even though we can't lift like 50 kilo dumbbells or whatnot. So it's always best guys to warm up that muscle group so light dumbbells to start with just for a warm up around 15 reps guys Okay guys, so that was our warm-up set, so now we're going to move into our working set, which will then build us up to our heavy set, where I'll add the resistance bands to the dumbbells, and then we'll do a back-off set, where we do rest pauses for three seconds, so blow out your mouth three times when you're down, and then push up. Okay, that's how we're going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to get set up. I'll won't bore you with the working sets so I'll just do the heavy sets and the rest pause set okay let's keep to it guys oh, pretty quick now unfortunately as you can I don't know if you can see on my hoodie or not so basically now we're going to move on to the heavy set where I've connected four resistance bands to the dumbbells I've used the wrist and heel straps to do it instead of the normal band handles because obviously it's more comfortable more easier to grip the bar the dumbbell with using a flat surface instead of the handles okay so we're gonna try and hit around 8 to 12 reps with this hopefully you know see how we get on as it's a add-on set like how the next set will be I'll film both of these together in the same video because it'll be a few seconds pause and then straight into a pause set. So I had to think of a word then. So a few seconds rest and then straight into our pause set, okay? Where we'll be looking for around 10 reps. And the reason why we're doing the pause sets is because it'll help with our strength. So obviously we can't do a huge amount of strength building but we can try our best to try and maintain as much as possible during lockdown three okay as you can see on the screen snow is coming down more and more so let's get to it
Okay guys, a nice comfortable set there of 12 reps. Now we're going to take the resistance bands off and drop down to just the 10 kilo side dumbbells. So we can uh, obviously get our rest pause set in. So aim for between 6 to 10 I'd say. Okay guys. Don't forget guys, grab your EAAs to help you when you're training from Raycon 1. Banana pineapple flavour is for Don. Okay? It's worth getting. Right, let's get back to it. guys a nice eight rep set there for uh, rest pause set blowing out three times and then pushing up is the best way I found of doing it so counting in your head so yeah I was a good set I'm happy with that okay so now we're going to move on to our next exercise okay so all I'm going to do from now on for the chest side of things is just show the heavy set and the pause set. Now with banded flies, I won't be able to do a heavy set, so I'll rep out and then I'll do a pause set for you guys, okay? So our uh, next exercise is the incline dumbbell press. Now, obviously it's my heavy set, and then we'll go into the rest pause set. So this is gonna be challenging, but I love the challenge, I love to challenge myself and see what I'm capable of doing so with incline a lot of people have a bench like that and think that's good when realistically you should be like that because the reason being you'll hit more of your top pectoral which is the aim for incline to uh, obviously it'll be better being steep so how I have a bench if you have a quick look, is literally like that. So it is one off from the top. So we'll be hitting, fu fully hitting the top of our pectoral. Okay guys, and that is the aim of the game for incline. Okay, I used to do it like that and I thought that was okay, but then I tried it that way once in the gym, listened to a uh, good friend of mine, Sam Reed, who talked some sense into me, and I've never looked back since. You know, doing it this way, I feel more on the top of my pectoral, which is what, you know, the exercise is about, guys. So, starting to get a filthy pump on on the chest, so that's always good. So yeah, let's see what I can do with this then.
Right guys, a nice hard 10 reps there. Top of the pectoral to the sides there. Felt this. Felt very good. Well, it was hard, painful. Well, let's face it. Pain is weakness leaving the body. Remember that guys. There's no point in just going to a certain number and then quitting. Go, dig deep, push past that pain. Push past the pain barrier, okay? That is the main aim of the game. That is how you grow. That is how you succeed from the others, by pushing your boundaries, by pushing the laws of physics, okay? So just remember that. So, few seconds off. Pause set. Alright guys, so I'm going to be aiming for around 6 to 10 reps again for my pause set. So I don't know how many I'll get with this, but let's just see. Eight reps, that was horrible. I'm not going to lie to you, that was horrible. But, you know, if you want something that bad, you'll go through the pain and do whatever it takes. Literally, whatever it takes to get to where you want to be in life. And that's exactly what I'm doing now. Lockdown three, I've been training in the rain, training in the snow. That is the dedication you have to have. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes to get there. So, if you have that heart and mentality like how I have for training in that kind of weather outdoors, you'll be in for a bright future, okay? Dana Lynn Bailey, 2013 Miss Olympia, said that about me when I told her about my weight loss in the journey back in 2019. And safe to say, guys, I truly believe that she was right about me. This proves it, okay? The journey proves it. So go out there and go own it, okay? Okay guys, so I've got my plan here. So the next exercise is gonna be for banded flight. Now, normally when I do cable crossovers in the gym, I don't go for strength. I'll go instead for the pump and chase the pump. So high reps, so first, this set will be around 15 to 20 and then what I'll do is I'll do the pause so I'll go for around 12 reps there okay so yeah let's get to it people don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons guys let's make Bolt Nation grow together
Okay guys, so a nice 20 wrapper there. So chest is looking pre-pumped, which is always the main aim. So we're looking quite good there. So a few seconds off and then we'll do the rest pause. I tend to not have as much of a rest when it's just bands so because with realistically with dumbbells obviously you need a little bit more extra recovery with dumbbells and barbells you know for free weights but with bands you don't need a huge one because they're not as heavy yes the tension is more but you know you don't need as much so straight back into it pause set now Okay guys, I think that was 12, might have gone past 12, I'm not sure, so, but yeah, anyway, that finishes our chest, so now we're going to, I think next, we'll do the shoulder bit, we've got, I think if I remember rightly, it's only three exercises, again, yeah, so we've got shoulder press, the cable lat raise, and the cable front raise, um, since this is a push session, obviously, with a front raise I'm going to be doing it looks like it's a pull movement but well you could say it is a pull movement when you think about it going like that but you know we got to obviously fit it in somehow so we do front raises obviously when we do push because you know it balances itself out with my pull exercises so yeah okay and then do our rest pull set some people little bit of a tip for you some people ask me how do you keep your balance on dumbbells and I learnt this from a person who has done bodybuilding for many years and I do take his advice on board so much it's unbelievable Mike Copeland he'll probably kill me for mentioning him in his uh, in this YouTube video but oh well I'll work with the guy it's all good so Mike taught me to hold your dumbbells the closest end to your body that'll give you more stability because it's drawn more to your body okay as weird as it sounds guys I tried it out and it does work and since then I have always done it that way okay so if you're not doing that at the moment I recommend you try it okay you'll see the difference so another thing is a friend of mine called Tom taught me with shoulder press angle it a little bit towards you like that and don't fully extend because you'll take the tension off your shoulders so come down to about here 90 degrees go up to about there and you've still got the tension on your shoulder okay if you just go like that you'll feel the tension still on the medial head which is the target okay so yeah, let's get into it guys.
Okay, so I've only managed eight there. I don't know what to make of that. Don't know whether to be happy or disappointed. So these things happen. So I know where I'm at and I'll continue to move forward and progress. So now we're going to have a few seconds off and then do rest pauses. You notice I had to angle myself because of how the resistance bands was through the push. So yeah, with other resistance bands, I'll be back to a normal, normal straight back. Or at least that's the plan, it depends how I feel. Don't forget guys to always stay fueled and hydrated during your workouts. EAAs are the one. They fuel your muscles better and keep you going through your training. Get Grunt from Raycon 1. Best one I've ever had and best flavour I've ever had. Okay guys, I've already said it in this video. But I'm going to say it again to you guys, okay? The links are in my description. The links are in my bio, okay? On Instagram. So, yeah. Okay, so the camera cut out for some reason when I flipped up the dumbbells to do the rest pause set. So, to prove to you guys I did do it, I'm going to do it again. So, an extra set. This is uh, going to be horrible, but, you know, if you didn't capture it on film, did it really happen, guys? That's the way I look at things. I rather not be called a uh, bluffer. And that's a nice way of calling it point it you know I'd rather prove that I did do it so yeah here goes Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Eight reps, guys. Notice how oh, that hurts. Notice how I angled it. I kept the tension, and when I went up to about there, I still have the tension on my shoulder. Obviously, if you push all the way up, you go and lose that tension in your shoulder, so you're wasting your energy. Just go to the point where you can still feel the tension on your shoulder and then bring it back down to 90 degrees, okay? Now, if I remember rightly, we've got the cable lap raises, the bandy lap raises, I should say. Uh, interesting way I do them now, and to be honest, I prefer them that way, so when I get back in the gym, I'll be using the low row machine to do it. So much better, guys, because you've got way more tension, and you can slow it right down, which is what I want, so yeah. Let's keep going, guys. Okay, guys, so this is going to be our last exercise for shoulders, which is obviously, as I said in the last part of the video, the assisted banded front raises. So after this, we'll move on to our triceps, which, looking at my plan, because, you know, I always set my plan out, it is going to be two arm extension with the dumbbell, some skull crushers with dumbbells, that 
is a challenge by the way guys in itself and then some dips by just using the bench okay so and um, I'll finish off the workout okay so we'll cover chest shoulders and tries okay so let's get strapped up and let's get to it don't worry I can chuck that that's my old phone by the way guys uh, that's an iPhone 8 and I'm on the Samsung 10 limited red edition gotta go limited edition haven't you these days guys you know so don't get me wrong I do miss iPhone though so I'll probably end up going back to iPhone at some point in the future who knows because I don't right anyway so you'll, you could do this on the low row machine like the assisted lap raise now I'm probably going to do both these exercises in the gym on the low row machine because I I'm already feeling better movement and better tension than I would with dumbbells with this so I'm 100% going to be using the low row sets for this you know it's perfect okay guys if you haven't tried it yet I highly recommend you do okay so with this we're going to do both arms we're not going to go alternative arms we're just going to go straight 20 reps a few seconds off then rest pause set okay let's go Okay guys, so that's our 20 reps sorted, so definitely felt the tension in that in the anterior head, so meaning for front delt, so yeah, that was good, so now a few seconds off and then we'll do the rest pause set to finish off our shoulders and then we'll go on to triceps and then after we finish triceps I'll explain fully why I'm doing what I'm doing, the way I'm doing it. Um, so you guys can see exactly my game plan and what I'm trying to achieve okay so yeah right let's go for about 12 reps with these guys okay <coughs> three two one Right, guys that was very hard and extreme and painful but it worked I felt the squeeze the tension which is the main idea of this so yeah okay gonna take a quick sip of my drink and then set up for triceps okay guys so last muscle group working and then I'll explain everything why I'm doing what I'm doing okay guys okay guys so uh First exercise for triceps is going to be the two-handed dumbbell overhead extension. Now normally I'd use two dumbbells and do it that way, but instead I'm just going to use the one to mix things up a bit, okay? So I'm going to go for reps, so around 20 reps. Rest for a few seconds and then do the pause set as well, which is going to be horrible for this.
I think that was 20, I don't know, I lost count. I keep losing count, guys, because I keep focus. Um, yeah, so a few seconds off, about 30 seconds, and then jump straight back into it. Okay, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Okay, guys, let's make Bolt Nation grow together. I'll be forever grateful for it from you guys. Don't forget, if you're after supplements, look no further than Redcon 1. And if you're after protection such as lifting straps or wrist supports or elbow sleeves, knee sleeves, or just clothing, then tough wraps. That's where to go, guys. Links are in the description below or in my link tree on my Instagram, okay, in my bio. Plus the discount codes on both the description in this video and on my Instagram link tree, okay? So, yeah. And they are good. Those lifting straps are amazing. I, sometimes, well, not sometimes, a lot of times I've used straps and I've lost grip and stuff like that. With them, I haven't at all the solid, thick straps, you know, and you can't go wrong with them. Okay guys, so, right, anyway, enough talking, more pumping iron. A Joe Moss there, he loves saying that to me, pumping iron, so, that one's for you, Joe. Ugh. Okay guys, I'm not sure how many that was, but I definitely felt it, so yeah, great going, so now I'm going to set up for the next exercise, which is going to be the dumbbell skull crushers, and the reason why I'm not saying line down extensions is because that would mean you're going that way, but we're actually going to do them as if we're using an easy bar and doing skull crushers, okay, so yeah. I'll get set up and then we'll get into it, okay guys? So, our next exercise is going to be the dumbbell skull crushers. So I'm going to do about 12 to 15 reps with this and then I'm going to do my pause set which is going to be horrible with skull crushers, I'm not going to lie, you know. It's one for brutal, but one of the best exercises you can do for your triceps, a lot of people say. Um, I agree with that. You know, this is a very effective, a very good muscle builder for your triceps, you know. So, yeah, I highly recommend you do it. So, yeah, it put... See, when people use dumbbells and a flat bench, they tend to do the lying down extensions where basically you go like that but I'd rather do the skull crush away because it pushes me more and I feel better for it and I feel better burn and pull on my muscle so yeah I recommend guys you don't do the lying down extension personally and you try the skull crushers instead with your dumbbells now that's personal preference I'm not saying everybody's going to enjoy that and see better results i'm just saying that's personal preference to me okay so anyway enough talk more action
Okay guys, so uh, that was our normal set of 15 reps. Take a few seconds off, do the pause set. Probably looking at around eight reps with that guys, to be honest. Um, play it safe, you know, because obviously my elbows aren't 100% at the moment. So I'm on joint support from that to help contradict the pain sometimes I get and the cracking when I press. So yeah, even though I'm not pressing, obviously the elbows come into play with uh, tricep exercises because obviously all you're doing is moving your forearm, same as biceps, but there's more tension I feel doing a push down when there is a curl with your elbows. So yeah, if you have similar situations like that, I highly recommend you take some sort of joint supplement to help contract with the problem you've got, whether it's just cracking, whether it's painful cracking or whatnot, or strain, then I suggest you take some joint support supplement. Um, Redcon One, my company I'm with, obviously do that. So have a look at theirs. So yeah, right, enough talking. It's time to get this pause set done. It's gone dark now, so as you can tell, we're getting later on into the day, into the evening. And I'm not gonna lie, I am hungry. For success that is. Okay guys, so finishing off from yesterday since it went too dark and I can't properly film I'm going to do my last exercise again for you which is dips using the bench Now dips is one of my favourite tricep exercises because I really do feel the tricep burning and growing from this exercise so I do highly recommend it, okay? It's nice and easy if you've got no weights, no apparatus to do dips on, you can do it just on a bench by leaning on the bench like I'm doing, okay guys? And that is still just as good, okay? Okay guys, so if you're doing dips the way I'm doing them, four sets of 15, that'll be adequate enough for it, okay? So yeah, and that brings us to the end of the video, so I hope you've enjoyed it, it's something different, I'm going to be doing this way all week, explaining all different things while I'm doing it, and so on, so on, okay? If you have any comments, then feel free to drop a comment, or DM me personally if you want, at Jamie Bolt Gascoy 93 on Instagram. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, guys. Have a lovely week. So, we're now on Tuesday. You know, so this video has gone on for two days. So, yeah. Now it's time to go do pull. So, and I love a good pull session. 
okay don't forget get your supplements at Redcon 1 and get all your supports you need whether it's your sleeves wrist supports straps whatever from tough wraps okay bulk out